So we've got the Act, we've got the regulation, we've got codes of practice, we've got AS, the Australian Standard 3745, we've got building fire safety regulation. Are there any contradictions or things that may not be consistent between these things that businesses that you've come across that businesses should be aware of at all? I think there's, because there's a lot of different rules and requirements here, right, within each of these. Have you ever come across any contradictions then? Not really. It's more an interpretation. um, I see. Is in delivery on the ground because, you know, I always go back to the small business, a reticulation guy, him and his two workers, or the fish and chip is always a go-to. You could have in a good fish and chip shop like 10, 12 workers, a fair-sized small business. And what's the likelihoods? of them knowing any of this. So this is a good time to mention, if I want to start a business, all I have to do is get my ABM and do all the tax things that I need to do. And if I was buying a franchise, they give me a whole bunch of stuff that I, you know, that helps me comply with the franchise requirements, which should include some safety things. But generally, I can hit the ground running without knowing anything about safety. There's no, there's a requirement, but you have to know the requirements there. And when you get to go and see the requirement, you need to be able to interpret it. Because, you know, even if you look at legislation, the act of regulation, it's written in such a way that it's not that easy to understand. So you would go to a safety advisor if you're a small or medium, or if you're a bigger business, you'd employ someone. Now, depending on, you know, because when you do instruction, whether it's a certificate for or a diploma or whatever, again, all regulation, and it's focused on just the act of regulation and codes of practice and stuff like that. But you may not necessarily have a broader focus because you might be a young safety advisor. You know, you might not have different types of experiences that help you grow as a professional. You may be part of an organisation and have a great, what do they call it, where they gather all their information and make sure that they attend conferences and things like that, which is a great demonstration of you keeping yourself current. Nurses do the same sort of thing to keep themselves current. But a lot of it is box ticking and not focusing on actually understanding how it's delivered on the ground. Okay, I can watch a thousand podcasts and go and read the the requirements all the time, but understanding how things are delivered on the ground, which is our focus, you know, providing the tools and things like that, but understanding our client and then how they deal with their risk. And we assist with the evidence and traceability side of it. And we're also happy to partner with bigger business that have safety advisors there to be a point of if they take on this WorkHub software, which they can, and we deliver it, get them up and running, and they just use it themselves. We're happy to be a point of guidance purely because of the breadth of our experience and the tools that we have. Certainly there's other tools available like documents and things like that. We utilise those. We buy them. A client has a particular job on, we will buy it and change the logo and globally change uh, your company name in it. And if it's an elevator work platform sitting in the Safe Work Method Statement, but you're not using it, we'll take that out to assist you in those sort of Thank you for watching. This short video is part of a longer podcast that can be found on the Safety Art YouTube channel, as well as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you found this information helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any Australian and New Zealand workplace and fire safety related questions that you'd like Bruce to answer on the podcast, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer it in the next week's podcast. For more in-depth information and inquiries, you can also schedule a free call with Bruce directly by visiting safetyhut.com.au.